this is literally Victoria's Secret Angels Goddess X Hunger Games Realness. Look at them wings! Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I make makeup music reactions and commentary videos on my channel, but today we're going to be doing another reaction. Duh. It's Little Mix. Little Mix came out with the song. Like, come on. Come on. I know it's not just Little Mix, but it might as well be, right? Like, okay, who is it? Galantis and David Guetta. Heard of both of them. I'm sure I've heard of lots of music by both of them, but a Little Mix is the only one we care about, right? So this is going to be your action to Heartbreak Anthem. If you end up sticking around and enjoying, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe down below for future videos if you're interested because I post a lot. And hit the notification bell because I work full time so I don't have a schedule. I post when I can, okay? But yeah, let's get into the video. We have an evil cat on the stage. Galantis. Are they just like a producer? That's, I think that's Dave Guetta on the poster. Little Mix, hey. They're strings. I wasn't expecting strings. Hello, it's me, your ex. I got to say I'm sorry, but I wish you the best. And I don't hold no grudge, just promise this ain't a test. We okay? Oh. We okay? Oh my god. Sometimes it works out, but sometimes it don't. Maybe we'll fix this. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't really have many words right now because I'm just engulfed and flabbergasted by the outfits. And I really shouldn't be because they always have amazing outfits. But this is literally Victoria's Secret Angels Goddess X Hunger Games Realness. You feel me? Oh, Creepy cat from the beginning. differently from how she usually does. Shadows. Chasing shadows. Look at them that cat came from what's the thematic reason behind the cat because it scared me honestly and truly scared me every time I seen it every single time and it kept popping up to maybe is that like Galantis's thing obviously Little Mix killed it obviously their wardrobe I honestly didn't expect to be as much as like a production as it was because there's a lot going on they all have their own little things going on 
I always love the message behind their songs, but even I didn't realize in the beginning this is what it's saying. Hello, it's me, your ex. I call to say not sorry, but I wish you the best. <coughs> so I'm gonna say it's shady, but it's funny. Shit is funny. And it's also true. And also with the choruses, like, I don't know what happened with this bullshit of a relationship that's going on. How it went from, like, great to shitty. But they don't have time to dwell on it. And my bitch ass doesn't either. I, I shouldn't be calling myself a bitch ass. But, um, that's something I've definitely realized within the past year and a half. Like, why? Just why think about someone who ain't shit? And why think about someone who didn't give a shit about you? Why are you worrying about people that don't worry about you? Don't do that, okay? Worry about your damn self. The people that are in your life and that you are surrounded with. And also, just how you want to better your life in the future. That's what you need to focus on. Yourself and your future. Not some other bitch. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you end up sticking around and enjoying the video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe down below for future videos if you're interested. You can check out more videos up there, like I always say. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll get to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Let me know what you think of the song down below.